So if y'all did not check it out on BoxingScene.com, according to Conor McGregor's coach, Owen Roddy, he says that they were not ready for Floyd Mayweather coming forward. In this article, he says, I should have been aware of a game plan like that from Floyd Mayweather, and that probably should have been done in camp. It's hard to change things when you're in the fight. So I'm a bit disappointed in myself that I didn't predict that he would walk forward and let Conor catch him on the arms and walk him down. I honestly thought Mayweather was going to pot shot, sit back, work the shoulder roll, and Philly shell. He did play that game for the first couple rounds. Connor was having success with all that. But unfortunately, I didn't have the stuff in place for the walking down strategy. We learned from that. I felt the game plan we came up with and the strategy we had for the first four rounds was really good. Connor was doing well. It was a tight fight. Connor was landing shots that we worked, and he was landing them often enough. In my opinion, when Mayweather switched it up and he kind of walked Connor down with the hands high and elbows in and just kept walking forward and let Connor throw shots at his arms, when we saw that, we hadn't prepared for it. We tried to switch it up from round six or seven. We were telling Connor, just keep popping one or two shots. Don't throw any more combinations. Just keep his single shots, enter into a clinch, and try to push him backwards. When it's that intense and you're constantly being pushed back, it doesn't matter how fit you are. From nine to 10, Floyd managed to put Connor on the back foot for those two rounds and kept walking him down. I know from experience, when someone is constantly pressuring you like that and you don't have a second to get a breath, fatigue sets in really quick, end quote. So, yeah, that's according to Conor McGregor's striking coach, Owen Roddy. He says that he did not expect Floyd to come forward doing his damn thing, right? But I could have sworn I told everybody about a week or two before the fight that Floyd Mayweather was going to fight Conor McGregor the same way he fought Victor Ortiz, the same way he fought Zab Judah, and the same way he fought Miguel Cotto. Everybody who watched the fight, who bought the pay-per-view, Conor McGregor's entourage, Conor McGregor himself, we're all casual decafs. Ain't none of these dudes know about Floyd Mayweather before like what? Victor Ortiz, Shane Mosley? Obviously, I never seen the Diego Corrales fight, the Angel Man Freddy fight, the Jesus Chavez fight, the Demarcus Corley fight. These guys have not seen any of those fights. The Gotti fight, are you serious? For you not to know that Floyd Mayweather can do everything inside that ring, including being the aggressor if he has to, what that means is they all fell for the bait. Of course, when you're older and you're like in your late 30s, ain't nobody want to take too much punishment. So if you can avoid punches and you have great defense, then why the hell would anybody stand in front of their opponent just to get hit? For what? Just because Floyd Mayweather fought defensively in the latter part of his career, in his 30s, casual fans were assuming that's how Floyd Mayweather fought his whole career. If they had went back and looked at Floyd when he was 21, when he was 23, when he was 25, when he was 27, when he was 30 even, Floyd was kicking ass. Floyd had one of the highest knockout percentages in boxing at super featherweight. The Cotto and Canelo fight, those two were like 15, 20 pounds bigger than Floyd Mayweather. And guess what? Floyd was walking those guys down. And if he was brittle hands, then how come no fighter has ever just ran through Floyd Mayweather and knocked them out? It should be pretty easy. It doesn't matter how much a fighter moves because you're inside of a ring, ain't nowhere to go. And it's not Floyd's fault a fighter like Manny Pacquiao or Canelo Alvarez does not know how to cut off the ring. That's his fault and his trainer. So as far as Conor McGregor's coach's statements, it seems that he's pretty much been listening to Skip Bayless, ESPN, the mainstream media. That's who they've been listening to. If he's a trainer preparing his fighter to fight the best fighter in the world, arguably the best fighter of all times, then why would you not look at his whole career, check out all the tapes of Floyd Mayweather? even from VHS. But let me guess, his team only checked out the DVDs. I would say that was a huge mistake for Conor McGregor in his camp. But I told y'all, not only was Floyd gonna win, I also said that Floyd Mayweather was gonna be twice as aggressive. And what was he? Three times as aggressive. If somebody really wants to know about Floyd Mayweather, watch his fights. Don't listen to casuals. Don't listen to guys like Jim Lampley. Go on YouTube and watch the damn fight your damn self and you will see almost every single fight Floyd Mayweather is the aggressor. I can guarantee you if you search pretty boy Floyd, then what you're gonna see is a whole lot of knockouts. Conor McGregor, his trainer, and the fans were thinking that Money Mayweather was gonna come inside the ring. Instead of Money Mayweather, it was pretty boy Floyd. That is some legendary shit. So, too bad for Conor McGregor and his team. 
that they did not look up the old Floyd Mayweather and study his whole career, that they are pretty much watching the fights with Guerrero, the fights pretty much where Floyd Mayweather was past 35, I would say that is their fault. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Post your comments down below. If y'all want to check out the article with Conor McGregor's striking coach, I'll post it down below as well. And uh, if you have not already, sub to my channel. It's Northwest Boxing, 247, coming at you live, and I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.